Hi, my name is Iga and you're watching Pixie and the Notes. Today I'm coming with a review of Elle by Yves Saint Laurent and this is Eau de Parfum version. Elle was created in 2007 by Oliver Cresp and Jacques Cavalier uh, and this fragrance, I will say that I've been avoiding it, seeing it in stores, I've been avoiding it because the bottle design, the color was giving me like the marketing was giving me like totally different vibe. I didn't expect anything like what I found in here when I tested it blindly. Uh, and that wasn't that long ago. And I fell in love immediately. So what you find in L is a beautiful mix of patchouli, a rose and fruit with slightly bit of spiciness. In that respect, L reminds me of two fragrances and one of them, which is the predominant theme uh, that links it with, with L, is Perles de Lalique, um, mainly due to this beautiful mix of slightly dark, luscious patchouli mixed with woody rose. But it also, in the dry down especially, reminds me slightly of my beloved cinema by YSL, also created by Jacques Cavalier. Uh, L mixes both, so the darkness and the richness and the sexiness of, um, of uh, Paris de la Lique and the brightness and warmth of cinema. And it makes quite a lot of sense when you look at the notes, when you compare the notes of three. It really just looks like L takes from both um, fragrances. This luscious mix of patchouli and rose is supplemented with a little bit of this sharp vetiver facet. And basically patchouli and, and vetiver add, and pink pepper, add a little bit of masculinity to the fragrance but you also have some florals like peony, freesia and jasmine which act as a bridge between the typically feminine um, elements of L and the masculine L and the whole thing is perfectly balanced the yin and yang, the masculine and feminine energy is perfectly balanced uh, in that respect, L could be worn uh, by uh, men as well, um, although I see it as a quite feminine fragrance. For me, it's quite feminine. As I mentioned, L also has this fruity facet and we have this burst of lychee and some citrus um, and a sparkling um, drizzle of pink pepper, which makes it like flicker, almost flickering. So overall, L is a rather sensual, dark fragrance, but it also has bright and cheerful elements. Um, so it kind of has the wearability factor to it with this sensual evening glamour combined in one. For me, L is one of, one of my most sexy and sensual fragrances. Uh, but this, uh, this, this sexuality, this sensuality is the most mature and refined one. Saying that, I can see that this fragrance might not uh, be suitable for the younger demographic. I think younger women might find it a little bit dated uh, because it's, it has this kind of old school um, facet to, to it and I think younger women usually, and I might be wrong but that's my observation, usually associate sexiness with, um, with some gourmandy, almost candy-like sweetness and you won't get that here. Elle is mature. Elle is a woman that knows what she wants um, and she, she's not trying to be sweet and cute. Although I see a lot of elements of Pearls de la Lique and cinema in, um, in Elle, it has a uniqueness of its own. 
So if you are looking for a fragrance that uh, is suitable for everyday wear uh, and at the same time can be like a very nice going out date night um, offering, L is a perfect choice for you. That's all for today. Let me know if you know and like L. And thanks for watching and see you next time.